All right, guys. So, uh, a little more, actually, two weeks has passed since I did the first episode with my mother about getting her to go vegan, uh, which means I've given her more time than I said I would uh, for her to watch uh, the videos that I asked her to, to do her assignments, basically. Um, <clears throat> and she hasn't done it yet. So I gave her extra time and she still hasn't done it. So we're going to roll up on her right now at the house um, and see what she has to say for herself. Let's check it out. All right, Ma. Oh, boy. Have you done the homework that you agreed to do? I in part agree, one. But you didn't give me a date, and you you arrived. I wasn't expecting that you were coming today. True. So I'm t I tend to do things last minute. Well, I did say in the last video that I'd give you a week. Uh, or I said I'd check back with you next week. All right. Sorry, I missed that then. <laughs> have you done? Have you watched? Any, have you watched my video at least? I, the How to Go Vegan in 268 yes, Minutes. Yes, I did. You did watch that. Yes, so you know the assignments. Yes, and I guess, as I said to you and Sonny yesterday, if you're, if you are at all aware of what's in those videos, um, even though there's a part of me that wants to think, okay, there are some farms that wouldn't do the, the hideous, you know, cutting off of chicken beaks and whatnot. I shouldn't even say what not. They actually do, even the organic ones. Really? Yes, because all hens will peck at each other because they're in such close confinement. But whether but it's a humane like quote, a, quote unquote humane farm or not. A Charlotte's Web kind of farm. You know. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't cut their a Charlotte's Web kind of farm. Well yeah, like like Wilbur, the pig. Is this what you imagine? is going on? Well... <laughs> Feeding I'm, all these people across the world? No, I guess you're right. You're right. Sorry. All right. So now, more than ever, it's apparent that you need to watch okay. the but assignments. I don't know if I can stand it. I think maybe I'd rather just say, okay, I'll move the house. Well, Could if you I try be... and it's too upsetting, which it probably will be. Could I be Deco. a fleegan? Um, could I be a fleegan? You could, well, you could be whatever, whatever you want to be, I know. but... And you said you were militant, want, but you Dad, Dad told me that you were starting to be more conscious when you're at the store, yes, when I'm you're very buying things. Yeah. So that's good. So it's getting in there. Yeah, I, I just know. want you to be an informed. I want you to be fully informed when you make your choices. Okay. So well, if you watch these things and you still say, well, I'm going to keep eating yogurt or whatever it is, then okay. But at least you're making an informed decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely am more aware of it. Uh, Todd and I have talked about it, talked about Fleegans, <laughs> and I guess it's sort of when people sometimes become vegetarian, then they become vegan because the the ethos gets to them, so maybe mm -hmm. that's what will happen. There's a part of me, I know the, the substitution business, when you, buy, when you buy chicken strips that are made of substitutes, I guess that's to help people like me who are used to the taste of chicken have that sure. in their salad. Um, so there are some things, and also, as I mentioned before, the, the protein that I want to consume to be on Kino Body uh, is best achieved through whey protein, because I've tried the vegan protein, at least so far I haven't liked it. So. No, it, it definitely doesn't taste as good, so, but you, yeah, you, so there, there are you ways have around to that. Make choices, yeah. So uh, I'm working on it. So I will, I promise, look at those videos by next week. Very good. Eat your fruits and veggies or vegans.com. Eat your. Ah.